Well, what's going on, gang? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, hit the subscribe button, if you would. Um, we're at 6,400 and something right now and climbing, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. It does help the channel with the uh, magical algorithm. Uh, this is the Mosinary MK03, um, a knife that I stumbled across at a knife club that I belong to. Uh, my buddy Russell had it, and he was ready to move it along, so we did a little tra horse trading for it, and now it is mine, and I, I, after I got it, you know, I brought it home and looked it up and discovered you could find these on AliExpress, and they were on Amazon for a while. Uh, your mileage may vary in trying to find one. They seem to be, you know, unless you're willing to go the AliExpress route, but let's talk about what you get, because it's really well done. Now, as you guys know from all of the various YouTube review channels, button locks are all the rage. Um, some people are tired of it, some people like it. Uh, of course, that is the challenge of being in a community like the knife community is that people get all excited about a thing and then all the knife companies make it and then they get tired of it. You get the idea. This one, on the other hand, is most surprisingly nice. And considering that I found them uh, with prices ranging from about 129 to about 140 depending on where you got them, this is a lot of knife for not a lot of money. Now, I know, 140 bucks is still a lot of money, but by comparison to other tools in these materials, this is pretty good. But like I said, you kind of have to be willing to get on board with the AliExpress experience to find them at the $129 rate. Anyway, what do you get with the MK03? Well, you get an M390 blade, all titanium construction. Uh, it is running on ceramic bearings and the titanium is milled on the inside. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get that to show up on focus. Let's see if we can get that to show up. There we go. See the focus? You... Ah, there. Wow, what a pain in the ass. Anyway, you can just sort of see it in there. Uh, by the way, that's a Tucson flashlight. These are just a really nice little light. Anyway, um, the button lock seems to be done very well. Uh, there's no lock rock and there's no stick, which is really nice. Thumb studs are in a great location. Um, it's just a nice pocket knife. It's got a very interesting backspacer. It's got a little spot for a lanyard. It's got a milled tie clip that, by the way, this thing rides the pocket beautifully. I love stuff like this. No idea who Mosinary is, um, honestly. In my world, I just went, yep, that's the knife that I'm looking at, and went with the info. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into it, shall we? Uh, you get... It's just at a three inch M390 blade with uh, two and, I'm gonna say it's seven eighths inches of cutting, right? The grip area, and you can come all the way up, although I don't, and it's you know, big enough. My hand touched about there. So you're looking at uh, three and a half inches of easy grip, but if you come all the way to the blade, please don't do that, you could hurt yourself. But if you did, you get all the way to just about four inches. Knife itself from tip to tail, we're looking at seven and a quarter inches overall, so it's a reasonably nice size. Um, the way that this titanium is shaped, there's a good view. Uh, everything is sort of milled and knocked down and chamfered. It really sits in the pocket really well. Um, there's no edges on this thing except right where you want one. Now there is a little bit of a swell here, a little bit of a smile at the base of the plunge, but. At 140 bucks, let's say, for M390 and titanium on ceramic bearings, I'm not going to complain, and I didn't. Um, closed length on the uh, Mosinary MK03 is coming in at four and a six, eh, four and an eighth. Oop, let's just toss that around, shall we? And in the pocket profile is really nice, right? Inch and a quarter. Right? The pocket clip is. Deep-ish carry. Do I have anything? No, that's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, I know. I should do this before I get. Oh my god, it's a matchbook. When's the last time you saw one of those? All right there we go. So you know, not a lot of knife sticking out. The real party piece here, besides the fact that it's a button lock with no lock stick, which, as you guys know, that happens a lot with button locks, is the action is so good. 
I mean, it's really, it's really good. The next most favoritist thing about the MK03 is the ridiculously comfortable grip. I, well, you know, it's the holidays, so there's a bunch of shipping that has gone on, and I went through a ton of cardboard just trying to give this thing a little bit of a run for its money to see how it felt with a lot of cutting. And even with these swells through here, there are no hot spots. None. It's just a very comfortable cutting tool. Yup, I really like it. Let's do some size comparisons. It's not a huge knife. I mean, you guys know for me, right? Coming in under eight inches is a fairly small knife for me, but and here it is against the Rat 1. And as you can see, the Rat 1 is considerably larger. Let's go ahead and move that down a little bit. And then again, the uh, classic Rat 2. Rat 2 and the Mocenary are very similar in overall dimension, which get my hand out of the way, it probably help. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a reasonably compact knife, but because of the way this is shaped, so I don't like the Rat series of knives. I don't like this, I'm, I'm not comfortable holding this knife. This thing, on the other hand, I'm very comfortable holding. Here's against our friend the Bug Out, and as you can see, the Mocenary is actually a little shorter than the Bug Out in the handle, although you do get just almost exactly the same amount of cutting area. And of course you get M390. And to be fair, these knives are about the same price. Different tools, but still very, very cool. I love stuff like this. It's one of the reasons I love belonging to BACA, which is the Bay Area Knife Collectors Association. Um, we have our meetings, we had our annual Christmas holiday and uh, dinner, and he just had this cool thing. I, you know, I mean, look, even though I review knives and I collect knives, I don't I don't get to know everything, right? I don't get to hear of all of them. And so this thing was just sort of, ah, yeah. This thing was just sort of there. Excuse me while I correct my math issue. There we go. And I got to bring it home. You can use this sort of fuller here to flick it if you want, but honestly, the thumb studs on this thing are so good. Anyway, I really like this knife. Let's go ahead and weigh it, because that's something we do here on the channel. I'll post a link to the AliExpress or wherever I can find it when I'm done doing all the little work on the video before I post it. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're interested in one, I'd love to help you guys find it. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a shot. So the Mocenary MK03 comes in at 4.1 ounces which for a full tie build is not bad. And it's a reasonably thick slice of M390, but it's got a lovely long drop down to the edge. So it's really slicey. I enjoy it quite a bit. So 4.1, yeah, 4.1. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's break out the uh, expensive and totally accurate caliper, I don't know. Look, they work. Let's see if it'll tell us how much of that M390. So back here at the thickest point, yeah, we're almost four millimeters, 3.87 millimeters. It's not bad. Not bad, it's pokey enough. You need to give something a little bit of a jab. And of course, with all this belly, it is a marvelous work tool. I love finds like this. <laughs> I really do. Anyway, this is the Mocenary MK03. Uh, yeah, MK03. I'm not good with names like that, but that's what it is. Uh, M390, all titanium button lock running on ceramic bearings for, let's call it 140 bucks. That is a pretty good price for a really nice little knife. Uh, you know, I hope you've enjoyed this look at it. I know I have enjoyed adding it to the collection. Thank you so much for your time today. We'll see you next time. Take care.